you good night. <laughs> I'm Kyle. How you doing? Good. I gotta set my beer down. Uh, I'm just gonna start out. I don't know what you guys believe in. I don't want to know because I don't want to know who I'm offending. Um, but I personally, I believe in reincarnation. I remember being up in heaven and drawing the short straw. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> you want a trade? Yeah. How about you, autistic kid? <laughs> hey, gonna be born with no legs, dude. <laughs> Does anybody want to be a hairy Oompa Loompa? <laughs> I'm from St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. Except when I'm in St. Louis, because I'm actually from St. Charles. And everybody, anybody who's from St. Louis, they know. Like they ask you where you're from. You're like, oh, St. Louis. But then I'm like, oh, what part? Was <laughs> well, <is> St. Charles. <laughs> well, it's not fucking St. Louis, is it? <laughs> It's like they get offensive. They get, they get offended at that. When you're out of town, it's a little different. Like, my dad was the one who told me this. Like, I remember we went to Branson a lot for vacations. When I, by the way, fuck Branson. Just, <laughs> you, ever, you ever thinking about taking a vacation to Branson? Just, just stick your hand in a toaster and rub a cheese grater on your genitals. <laughs> much fun. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of audience participation in those shows. They'll like they'll look down at you and be like, oh hey, what's going on? And there's none of that here. I'm not doing any <laughs> But they'll I, I had that question asked me a lot when we would go there. Where are you from? And I'd say, oh St. Charles and they'd be like, oh yeah, I know where that's at, but they no. So after one of the shows, like my dad was like, Kyle just just, just say St. Louis, it's, it's the same thing. It's not, Dad! <laughs> that's, that's my, my parents are actually here tonight. They came out to support me. I'm just kidding, I don't know who those are people are. <laughs> They're not with me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm from... St. Charles. <laughs> I've been living in Cape for the last seven years, I think. I, uh, I graduated and I just stuck around to make a little money. I moved actually back to St. Charles to live with my parents for a little bit. And then I was like, you know, Cape's not so bad. <laughs> But I eventually, I eventually got got out of here. Not that I don't like Cape, but I, I, I actually like Cape's got its, its things. But I've been saving so I can move to LA, and I finally have enough. I've been working in Jeff City on a movie recently. It's cool. Um, I'm back to do this. I'm gonna go back to that. I'm gonna go to St. Louis again, actual St. Louis. <laughs> and then a week later, I'm gonna be moving to LA, and that's gonna be fucking awesome. Um, but I'm a little worried because. Everybody knows this. Hollywood, it's, it's running out of ideas. There, there's no more originality in Hollywood. Everything is just reboots and sequels and this and that. And it's, it was sad for a little while, but now it's starting to get a little funny. <laughs> like, I, I have a solution to that. I'm an idea guy. So I think Paramount, you know, go ahead and make whatever movie you want to make. Just go for it. Like, uh, make a sequel to whatever. Just change the genre. Just... I want to see a horror Mary Poppins. <laughs> or like the, the kids are fighting off their evil witch nanny who's just trying to get them addicted to drugs. <laughs> like a spoonful of sugar helps a spoonful of heroin go down. <laughs> see an intense drama of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, where the dog eats them. 
the wife, she starts drinking and she leaves eventually and then Rick Miranda shoots himself. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see... <laughs> you know they're remaking the Power Rangers movie? They're, they're, re they're making a movie of it, but it's getting a rated R, dark, gritty, reboot. What the fuck is the theme song going to be? <laughs> Go, go, Power Rangers! You motherfucking Power Rangers! Go, <laughs> motherfucking Power Rangers! <laughs> like the, the movie opens in a dive bar, and like the Red Ranger does a line of coke off the toilet seat. <laughs> And then, like, the, the pink ranger is doing the walk of shame from the green ranger's bedroom. <laughs> By the way, the Power Rangers, I've had this thought for a while, and I think other people have too. They were pretty, pretty racist growing up, weren't they? <laughs> like, the black ranger was black. The yellow ranger was Asian. Like, the white ranger, he was, a, he got to be two rangers, white, privilege, fucking... <laughs> Hollywood. They're remaking Jumanji with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That is true. When Robin Williams hears about this, he's gonna kill him. With Jim Carrey as the girl with the dragon tattoo. <laughs> That'd be funny as shit, right? That would be great. <laughs> They're remaking Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. They are. Uh, the classic, oh, the birds, oh, God. It was really scary. But that Michael Bay is directing it. At least they got that right. That's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Robot birds. <laughs> sure that that whole thing was going to work, but I'm glad it did. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm been living in Cape for the last few years. I was working at the casino for a while uh, as a blackjack dealer. Yeah, I was, I was uh, my blackjack beeps here tonight. All right. But uh, it was a fun job because in, in normal jobs, you know, the customer is usually always right, but at the casino, the customer is usually always drunk. <laughs> so you can get away with a little bit more, and I did. <laughs> I took a lot of money from people, I, like just because of the game, not like I was stealing it on the side or anything. <laughs> like I took ten grand from a guy in thirty minutes. Ten grand in thirty minutes. I was pissed. He looked at me across the table. He was like, "You're a lucky man." <laughs> There was a table between you and I right now. You can do it. <laughs> I looked in my bag and said, if there wasn't a table between you and I right now, you'd still have $10,000. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. And if you think about it, like, I wouldn't be here <laughs> saying that, like, you're funny. Like, we don't hang out. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky there's a team. You're unlucky there is one. <laughs> you would be more lucky if there was not. <laughs> Dealing cars. It's fun. It's not it's definitely not the worst job I've ever had. None of you were surprised, by the way, when I said that I was a blackjack dealer. Not a single surprise face in the house. I think that's because I, I look like someone who would be a blackjack dealer. <laughs> like, I look like I could have three jobs. Like I could be a blackjack dealer, I could manage bowling alley, <laughs> or I could be a pedophile. Like, one, <laughs> one of those three things 
if you came up to me on the street, you're like, oh, what are you? If I said any of those, you'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah. But if I told you I was a doctor, you'd be like, I don't think this guy's a doctor. <laughs> Maybe a pediatrician. <laughs> Dealing cards. <laughs> it's rough. And every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> Fine. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> You're better than that. Not the worst job I've ever had, though. I worked in a bowling alley for a little bit. I really did. Uh, didn't manage it. No, I was. My title. My job title was bottle boy. Like a. Drunken sidekick, like, <laughs> so, and that was superhero. I, what I did was I, I picked up empty bottles and I like, threw them away. But I was also I was like a janitor slash bouncer, and I didn't realize how awful a job that was really until one day we caught a couple having sex in the bathroom. <laughs> I had to kick them out and pick up the condom. <laughs> I was also a security guard for a little while. Again, no surprise faces. <laughs> you guys are like, what, for a bakery? <laughs> yeah. It's a tough job. But I needed the dough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an animal lover. Any animal lovers here? Yeah. I've actually I've been wanting to get a dog for a little while. Um, but I realized I didn't I don't, I don't have enough time. I need something a little more low maintenance, you know, so I got a girlfriend. <laughs> that's that's what she said. <laughs> And I tried to put the collar on her, she was just like, nah. She calmed down after a good bone. Whoa! No. <laughs> Anybody here? Um, it's funny because I just told a girlfriend joke. Anybody here ever have a mutual breakup? <laughs> yeah? No, you didn't. <laughs> Because the only way that a breakup can ever be 100% mutual is if your girlfriend of, of two years wakes you up in the middle of the night and says, we need to break up. What? Why? I like vagina. That's the only way. And you can't get mad at her. You can't get mad at her. Because it's not her fault. Anybody here who thinks being gay is a choice, it's, it's not. Or anybody who thinks, yeah, I think I, I haven't told this joke in like three weeks. <laughs> Anybody who thinks being gay is a choice, it's not. I promise you, you were born, my, my ex-girlfriend, she was born 100% straight, and I forced her into lesbianism. <laughs> my dick makes lesbians. <laughs> it's like the world's worst superpower. <laughs> we, uh, we did some crazy stuff. Uh, I'm debating in my head whether I should go forward with this joke just because mom and dad are staring at me right in the face. I'll do it for you. You ever have, uh, you ever have sex on the beach? Yeah. yeah. So some of you, some of you, learned the hard way too. You know what's on beaches? Sand! You know what gets everywhere? Sand! You know what makes sex hurt? Bill Cosby. <laughs> he's actually... Bill Cosby. <laughs> he's actually he's one of my favorite comedians of all time. I mean, yeah, that's, that's fucked up. He was a funny guy. Uh, not with that. <laughs> like, well, he actually, he's one of my favorite quotes of all time, actually. Um, he, he once said, I don't know the key to success, but the key to failure is trying to please everyone. 
and rape. <laughs> He knew, he knew even then. <laughs> There's not much more of a direct route to failure than rape. <laughs> Unless you're white and on a swim team, I guess. <laughs> then it's fine. <laughs> I've got a lot of weird shit that I do, crazy ideas, but I can't tell you any of them because that's my life. Guys, thank you very much. <laughs>